Hey everyone, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more daily FC24 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with season three of my Manchester City career mode. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. So, after 38 games played, we win this year's Premier League title. That's three in a row after 87 points claimed. Spurs have been doing phenomenally well over the last couple of years. We managed to beat them by a measly four points. Arsenal finish in third, claiming a Champions League spot with 77 points. So they're only 10 points behind. That's really in the grand scheme of things, not too far. Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool finished in fourth. They get a Champions League spot with 74 points. United just narrowly, disappointingly miss that Champions League spot in the Premier League. They might have qualified other ways, but by three points, that sucks. Chelsea finish in sixth with two. And would you believe it? It's an outside contender, Fulham. This London side, after 38 games played, have finished in seventh. And I believe if they're in seventh, they probably have a Conference League spot, which is good for them after 60 points. Uh, Newcastle United, but that is a pretty in-depth look at Season 3's Premier League campaign. Champions League wise, here today we're going to play the final in Season 3 against Borussia Dortmund, who we uh, played against them in Season 1. We beat them 2-0. Can we beat them again? Dortmund making two Champions Leagues in three years. Go forward. Free kick here. Valverde, Manchester City with an opportunity. Alvarez breaks away. Oh, how do we miss? Corner kick. Oh, Penalties now. Couldn't decide the two. Oh my God, what a save. After 127 minutes, it's going to go to a penalty shootout. De Bruyne converts. 1-0. Manchester City sit atop. Dortmund. Oh my god. Just need to go to the right. Alvarez. Converts straight down the middle. Going to the right seems to work. Sabitzer, the former Bayern and Man United player. Goes to the left. Foden steps up. Converts. <laughs> seems to be working going straight down the middle. Raheem Sterling, our former player, steps up. Oh, he tucks it into the bottom right, the former Chelsea man. It's great to see him uh, doing well at Dortmund. But Silva for the winner. Steps up and converts. Dortmund missed two. City with four in a row. And that's it. Would you believe it? We have won our third Champions League. Back to back. Well, it's technically four if you count Pep Guardiola's. Champions League. Wow. But after three full seasons, I feel like we've saved, we've fixed, we've rebuilt all the adject all the verbs, all the adjectives. We have well and truly brought glory back to Manchester City and have built a dynasty. Bernardo Silva this time around has been given the captain's armband and we've managed to drag down the average age of the squad move out some of the aging players like your, 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 your De Bruyne's, your Carl Walker's and we've brought in a new bunch of young excited citizens so that's going to be number three for me. Thankfully, we won, to be honest. Our managerial rating, for whatever reason, is incredibly low. We could get the sack. I just don't know why. They really need to patch career mode objectives. For whatever reason on PC, like, I've won three Champions Leagues, three trebles. I know, I guess we're not verbatim following the objectives, but, like when they've been absolutely laid out, but it, it shouldn't really matter. Erling scores 52, Kavara, and uh, here 
are our stats as we look to wind things down. And look, I feel like I've pushed this team as far as I can. I think doing three league titles, three trebles is enough. Maybe we need to move on to another team. So let me know feedback in and suggestions uh, for other career modes you'd like me to do and players you would like me to sign for said teams. So after three seasons, we finished with three Premier League titles, two domestic cups, two FAs, no Carabos. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the third. Three Champions League, our biggest win came in the April of 2024 against Inter Milan, where we smashed them. Our biggest defeat actually came this year, unfortunately, to Arsenal. We lost 3-1. Our record transfer fee was a whopping £146 million. And I actually believe that was for Valverde. Or was it for Masali? I think it actually was for Valverde. I think we technically paid more. There would have been more with player plus cash deals. I've earned nine million pounds which is a solid salary <laughs> for my what was it eight total cups after 191 played we won a whopping 145 34 draws 12 losses a bunch of goals four 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 three and 102 away so reflecting using the tiki taka chemistry style for sort of role-playing purposes it's okay I, I don't mind holding possession I, I feel like we get more attacking opportunities using the Gagan press I think I would recommend to people still on the harder difficulties of FIFA to, to use the Gagan press I know it wars wears out the players a bit but I think overall it is the best tactic but anyway thank you very much for watching like and subscribe all that good stuff comment for the algorithm Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.